starting it live, 8 a.m. on the nose, I, I think. It might be 7.59. Uh, good morning, guys. How is everybody? Today is Art Talk Tuesday. And, well, it's Art Talk every day of this week. But uh, it's Tuesday today. Trash day for me. Uh, not sure about you guys. Um, glad I remembered. Good morning, MC Ken Bella. What's up, buddy? Uh, lots of cool stuff going on uh, with you and I, as we know. Uh, let's see how people come in here. Jerry Crocker's in. Yo, uh, good to see you. Uh, rocket chip, like it, like it. Um, got some good stuff going on today. Taking some some awesomeness out into the world. Let me adjust my chair. Uh, Martin Black, very good. Thanks for coming. Uh, Crazy V8 Russ says, oh, wonder when we will... Oh, missed that one. Uh, Pat, good morning, Pat. Good morning, Cindy. Uh, you guys are rocking, ready to go. Doug Harrison, yeah, all right. Very exciting. Luis, Luisito Gria, very cool name. Let me know where you guys are uh, are tuning in from because we are worldwide on Facebook Live. This is our talk episode 15. We are booking through this stuff uh, because everybody wants to improve. Everybody wants to get better. Everybody wants to bring fulfillment and prosperity. Good morning, Rick White. Master Woody, Woody Meister, uh, got some good shows coming up. Okay, uh, as a uh, as an intro, intro Chi Town, why why Chi Town? I'm not wearing my Chi Town shirt. Anybody else? Tuning in from Ventura says Rick White, Robert Smith just joined us. Someone else just joined us. Who did I miss? Uh, Remington, good morning. Uh, very cool. Uh, good day today. Good day. It's Tuesday. You guys are rocking and, and you know one of those rocking robots. Tuesday. Brrr. Good job. Excellent. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I am Fireball. I'm your host for Art Talk. This is episode 15. We do this show at 8 a.m. every weekday morning, not on the weekends. It is live right now. Uh, good morning, Cindy from Nevada. Uh, Minden. That's cool. Um, someone else just posted something. I missed it. Uh, okay, so uh, the... Uh, this is live. So you guys, uh, as you guys know, uh, if you've been to our talk before, uh, been hanging out with us, you know that you can ask questions uh, uh, any, and refer to anything I'm, I'm talking about, or you can uh, interact with each other if someone says something. Um, uh, the only rule here on our talk is we keep things positive. Any negativity is not tolerated because we are trying to maintain a positive flow. Uh, Rick says, hey, Ken, FB cracks me up. Yeah, boy. Uh, so, um, uh, interact with each other. That's cool. Uh, talk to each other. It's like having coffee in the morning. That's how we do. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm Fireball and my company is Fireball Publishing Group. We do, uh, children's automotive, the worst, the worst, the worst, the world's best, uh, automotive coloring books, things like that. Vets, Mustangs, all that kind of stuff. It's because I'm passionate about that. Uh, I've done cars for movies for the, for a very long time and I decided to put, uh, those kinds of cars, character cars, in a capacity to which people can enjoy them, as opposed to just being up on the screen and you go to the movies and you pay the studio, you know, your money to go see the movies. Uh, so this way you get uh, get to have fun and share that uh, that gift. That's kind of what we do, and uh, we spend our days going to car shows uh, during the weekends. Weekends. Good morning, Vince, and uh, and hanging out with people like MC Ken Bella and Rick White. Uh, sold my coloring books like hotcakes, says Rick. Of course, because they're Woody's, and Woody's are Woody's are cool. Um, the stuff, the books are available also at the Peterson Museum, the National Corvette Museum. We just locked in the Elliott Museum in Florida. Very cool. Those guys are super excited. And uh, we also have books going out to the Route 66 Museum. If you guys have never been to that, which is really great. And, of course, the Murphy and, and a lot of others. Okay, so our, you know, our purpose here on our talk... Um, my purpose is to uh, to live my life creatively in the best way I know how, uh, to love what I do, do what I love, and to show you guys how you can do the same. Dan Woods, uh, good morning, Dan, the ultimate Canadian. The ultimate, yes, uh, fantastic. Um, uh, Lee, where you guys are from, you know, if you're if you're from somewhere unique, uh, well, every place is unique, we're on a ball, you know, it's all cool. Uh, but as I mentioned, my purpose here is to try to show you guys how you can uh, live your best creative self and uh, enjoy yourself on a daily basis, because you can. And and if you're not, then I'm going to show you ways that you can here on Art Talk, because we are expanding our creative self, our creative nature, our ability to, um, uh, to apply uh, uh, what we love in our heart and souls into our daily life and improve our lives in every capacity that we can. 
Um, if you if you have a, a car show or something that you guys like uh, that you enjoy, you can post it here. Uh, Nigel Brunt, thanks for joining me. Um, good interactions, very nice today. Uh, this is episode 15 of Art Talk. Uh, if you haven't seen the latest vlog, we covered some Malibu fire and flood stuff. Uh, that went up yesterday. Another vlog is going up tomorrow, and that's going to be the classic auto show. That's what's going to be coming. Okay, today's subject. Let's focus on today's subject. Um, I want to help you guys with 10 creative silver bullets, okay? What I mean by that is 10 things that you need to do for your mind, for your brain, that is going to allow you to be efficient, top performance, and to hit the day running. Jürgen, good morning, Jürgen Kraus. I bet you you are not from uh, Minnesota. You're probably from somewhere really cool. Let me know, Jürgen, where you're from. Uh, very cool name. So uh, 10 creative I call them silver bullets because, you know, generally a silver bullet is like that one thing that does the job, right? And it used to shoot werewolves, you know, but we're talking about 10 silver bullets, 10 things that are very important in, in being your best creative self. And I want to get into those 10 because um, those things uh, lead to prosperity, a good health, and a lot of great things. And if you can work these things on a daily basis, at least think about them and improve them incrementally, a little bit each day. It's kind of like I want to do 50 push-ups, but I can only do one today. Well, you can do one, but tomorrow you're going to attempt to do two and you're going to get a little stronger. And then over a period of time, you'll hit 50. And that's how this works. Okay, so this is, you're talking about, we're talking about uh, brain activities and things to, to feed your brain so that uh, you are uh, at your optimum performance. Okay, uh, the number one is brain food. Uh, and if if your diet isn't exactly what you you think it ought to be, then uh, you need to improve that. And you you don't improve your diet by feeling bad, you know, by feeling wrong and eating the things that you know maybe you feel a little guilty for eating. Um, you just want to start to incorporate. Uh, you don't have to quit eating the stuff that you're eating, but you want to start incorporating things that are good for you. And uh, anything that obviously that comes out of the ground is good for you um, and certainly tastes good things like blueberries and avocados and, and stuff like that. You want to incorporate uh, as, as many salads as you can. And I'm not saying don't eat meat or don't eat uh, chicken or fish or things like that. I happen to be vegan. That's my choice um, for my optimum performance. Uh, but if you guys you know, uh, enjoy eating certain, th certain things and you want to continue that, I understand that. And that there's no argument against that. Uh, we don't change people by making them wrong. We change them by inspiring them and doing our best. So the question is, hopefully through this, I can inspire you guys and then you can go out and you can inspire others to be better yourself, whether you talk to your husband or your wife or your kids and however that works. Uh, Stan Curtis, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know where you're tuning in from. Okay, so the brain food, you know, it's... um. Uh, obviously, uh, things that uh, that make you feel good, uh, and and you know, there's certain things that you know that if you get too much of, you're not going to feel good. Too much sugar, too much coffee, uh, even too much meat, too much. Uh, um Anything that's processed foods, things like that. So try to improve today. Uh, we're not talking about the week. We're not. We're talking about this morning. What can you have this morning that would uh, make you at your at your prime, at your optimum? And that could be a banana or a protein shake or something that makes you feel good. Uh, try to think forward. So if you eat something, how are you going to feel in an hour from eating that thing? And that's that's something that's going to help you improve and help your brain function better, so that you have clarity. Okay. Number two, um, what we call. Uh, uh, negative thoughts, right? Negative thoughts. Uh, those automatic uh, things that happen throughout the day and the only way to address negativity or negative thoughts that are happening in your own mind is you have to stay aware. You have to stay awake all day and not uh, sleepwalk through your day, okay? And that's that's what, you know, they even talked about in the Bible that, that the majority of people on this planet are, are sleepwalking. You know, they're walking through their life and they're not aware that the power to change things is uh, is in their hands. It's not out there. You're not gonna get another job or or, 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 or get a divorce or get married or, or get that new car, whatever it is that you think that outside thing is gonna solve for you. Uh, I hate to tell you, it's not gonna solve. The decision that you make inside yourself first, that is where it begins. And uh, that creates an awareness and once again, if I make this decision and I do this thing, then what's going to be the result of this thing? Same thing with the food we were just talking about, okay? So you want to make a decision based on your best performance, your best outcome. If I go and do this thing, if I go argue with this person, if I, if I take this pill, if I eat this thing, 
How is that going to affect my day? And uh, the more that you can be aware and ask that question, the more efficient that you'll become. Okay, so automatic negative thoughts, uh, negative thoughts that are not uh, um, empowering you, but defeating you. You want to stay away from those. You want to you want to empower yourself. You want to give yourself a pep talk, like kind of like how you're having right now. You want you want this pep talk, a little art talk in the mind, right? A little art talk to yourself. Okay, and we're talking about being your best creative self. You know, is that that we are creativity beings. Uh, we create things. That's what we do here on the planet. And we may create uh, everything from culinary books to um, uh, uh, to build a car, to um, building a house, uh, you know, like, uh, like what Rick White does. Uh, anything that you are creating uh, in order to perform your best and make that time proficient and strong is that you want to be at your peak performance. Okay, number three. Uh, brain foods like supplements. Um, uh, B12s, uh, B vitamins are very important because we deplete a lot of that stuff through stress, through uh, non, non-activity, through a, a lot of different things. Um, Jerry says, LOL, I do smart things. Yes, good, smart things. Uh, smart things are good. Um, as long as you believe that they're smart, then you're good to go. But uh, supplements help. You know, uh, we lose a lot of stuff through our diets and through stress and things like that. So if you can research a little bit, I've done a tremendous amount of research over the last 30 years. I know what what vitamins work for me and I try to consistently take those as best I can. Uh, B vitamins are tremendous for energy and for um, bringing back a lot of the stuff that we deplete. So investigate that a little bit. That's number three. Sorry, that's number four. Number five, this is, a, this is a very important one, very important one. Now, I keep referring down because I, I made my notes earlier before I started Art Talk, and I want to make sure that I stay on point with you guys and that we go to, don't get into a three-hour art, art talk. You know what I mean? Okay, so, so number five is uh, it's important to, uh, to hang out with good people. It's important to hang out with positive people. Uh, it, you, you have to look at the, the top five people that you hang out with, and that's generally the type of person that you are, okay? So if you're hanging out with five broke people or five people that are pretty negative, chances are you're the sixth person. So you want to make sure that the people that you hang out with empower you and strengthen you and, and, uh, and lift you up. Uh, that's vital. That's vital for maintaining a, a positive mental flow. So look around. If you have uh, people in your life that are that are kind of holding you down, bringing you down, you got to find ways to be able to spend less time with them and start make a list. Make a list of five empowering people that you want to hang out with more and do that more. Okay. Number six. Uh, it's important to have a clean environment like this, right? This this place, right? If it's filthy and it's nasty, chances are that's what's going on right up here in this little cavity noggin. Okay, so you wanna you wanna go and you wanna clean up as best you can. Clean up your desk. Uh, if your apartment or your house looks like crap, uh, chances are that's what's going on in your mind. In fact, that's exactly what's happening because um, your surroundings are a reflection of what of your mental clarity, your mental state. So you wanna you wanna clean things up. Um, a way to uh, to really feel good about what's going on is to strategically look for a place in your apartment or your house or your garage where you can, mic- you know, we're talking about micro steps, small actions that can improve these things. Uh, small actions like what you can have for breakfast this morning as opposed to changing your entire diet, okay? So uh, look for some place in your house or some place, maybe your closet, something that you can spend a 15 minutes, half an hour cleaning up, you know, so that you can feel good. And uh, even if it's doing the laundry, doing the dishes, something that helps you clean up, okay? So that's number six. Uh, number seven, um, sleep is incredibly important. Sleep is incredibly important um, because um, uh, obviously you guys, if you went to college or you went in a, in a situation where you didn't have that much sleep and you were um, lacking that, you obviously weren't at your peak performance. You weren't at your, at your best position. So uh, sleep is important and dream states are important. REM is important. Um, and so you want to give yourself that optimum time. Uh, now for me, it's the, my schedule is that I go to bed around nine o'clock and I get up between three, about 3.45 to four o'clock in the morning. And that's an optimum state for me. Everybody's a little bit different. Some people need a little bit more time. Some people even need a little bit less. I have a friend, um, Christopher Hubbard, and he's on uh, our talk from time to time. Uh, he has about three or four hours of sleep a night, and that he's proficient with that. But once a month, he crashes for about you know, 16, 17, 18 hours, something like that. But that's his system. That's the way he works. Uh, for me, from nine to about four uh, works perfectly. Uh, okay, so number eight, 
Uh, three more. Uh, protect the brain from injury. You know, obviously you don't want to go banging your head. You know, so uh, rock concerts. Uh, you know, I'm not sure that's necessarily good at this. It's certainly not good at my age at this point. Head banging, not, not a great thing. But, you know, protecting your, your brain, um, uh, you know, just making sure that um, uh, you, you don't do a lot of uh, head contact sports like uh, football, things like that. You know, um, you want to play football and you're young and you can do that, great. But uh, as we get a little bit older, we get a little bit wiser, we start to get a little bit more protective about our ass. Assets, our assets, okay, and uh, that's important. Is that we want to protect the brain from any kind of injury. So um, that seems like pretty common sense, and I'd like to say it's common sense, but obviously common sense is not so common, as you guys know. Uh, number nine. This one I like especially. Uh, this one's very important. Uh, uh, always seek to learn something new every day. Always exercise the mind, exercise the brain. Uh, um, uh, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos that are uh, inspiring and learning how to do things. And um, uh, I enjoy meeting people, going to the car shows, and I'm always learning about people and how they built things and, and their stories with their cars. And, and learning is a, is a very big aspect of keeping the mind fresh. And it, it, uh, a lot of these these elements I'm giving you uh, are important because they uh, decrease the ability for your your brain to um, to create plaque in the mind, which ultimately can lead to dementia and Alzheimer's, a lot of that stuff. So uh, my dad is a very good example. He is 91 years old. Uh, uh, as of May, I think he's going to be 91. Could be 92. Not really sure. Um, he doesn't really care at this point. But at that age, he as he is as sharp as you can possibly be because he implements a lot of these things. Uh, James Dole says, car shows, Yahoo, I love to learn there too. Yeah, car shows are a great place. Obviously, putting your, yourself in a place where you love being and you're passionate and you're excited about puts you in a great frame of mind around a lot of positive people, very exciting. Uh, every now and then you might get a bad noodle in the bunch, but for the most part, uh, you hang out with positive people, you're going to have a possible positive experience. Uh, Ken Vela says, be present, tweak your autopilot thoughts. Of course, very easy to say. We all know, we understand this. This is something we can teach to a little kid. Not so easy to do. Very tough because it means that you have to be present and on task, on top of things, all the time. And, and that can be tough because you we get hit with a lot of things throughout the day. Um, maybe somebody says something that pisses you off. Somebody, you know, you, you haven't eaten at a particular time. Uh, these are the challenges of the day. So if you want to stay on point, then you have to try to stay as present as often as you can. So you got to keep that up. But always learning, that's an important aspect. Uh, I love learning. Uh, anybody who doesn't like to learn, they're in big trouble because they're, they're not going to be able to keep that mind fresh. Okay. And the last one, uh, which is probably the most important one, is stress management. Uh, that uh, life it can be and is very stressful in a lot of ways. And you combat that stress through exercise, uh, which I mentioned is number three, um, through uh, things like uh, massages, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? If you got a, a partner in your life, um, ask them to give you a massage and be sure to return the favor. Uh, give each other massages. Give each other um, head rubs, head scratches, things like that. Anything that will reduce that um, that stress level. Um, I walk a lot, and you guys see that on the vlog. We, in fact, we have a vlog coming up where uh, we do a lot of walks, a lot of hikes, and uh, it's not evasive. I'm not uh, slamming down on my knees. Uh, it's still uh, something that requires... a tremendous amount of strength uh, for longevity if you're going on a three or four mile hike. Um, and also it expands the mind, keeps you present all the time, which which is what I really enjoy. So um, if you want to start doing some hikes, you know, do some small ones. Hike, hike down to the end of your your um, your uh, driveway to begin with. You know, go, go around the block, you know, start to make your way. But the more that you can implement these things, the more that you'll, your stress management will be capped, okay? So those are the 10 things. Um, I hope those got, all those things uh, have helped you today. Um, we're talking about uh, uh, not complaining. Not complaining, that's a big deal. Not complaining. Good actions, good behavior today. Treat people with respect. This is about rehearsal. Rehearsing uh, the kind of things that you want in your life. You gotta rehearse those in the mind and those things will come to fruition, okay? So that's how it works. I wanna make sure I didn't uh, miss anything. Um, uh, that's about it. Um, having fun, having fun.
Meditation, ha having fun, going out and having a good time today. Despite what you have to do today, get out there and try to find a way to enjoy it. Uh, force yourself to think of the good aspects of whatever it is. You maybe you have to go to the courts or maybe you have to deal with a ticket or something. What could be fun about this? Try to figure that out for yourself. I did get one question. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, one question about my vlogging camera. Uh, people have an interest into what kind of camera I use. I started out with some big Sony's, a, uh, A70's, A65's, um, and, uh, but the more you work with these, these, this equipment, the more efficient you get, and it, it's really not about the camera. As long as the camera is a, is a good quality camera, um, I've always gone back to the uh, Sony HX80, which is right here, and the cool thing about that is it's got the flip top. This is my primary vlogging camera, okay? So you can get these on Amazon for about uh, 350 bucks, something like that. They're not expensive. Uh, they work very well. I've had uh, four or five of them up here. I always keep all my vlogging cameras. Uh, and that's about it. So um, get out there today, guys. Get out there. Have a good time today. Try to implement some of the things that I talked to you about. Uh, this is episode 15, and uh, we got some great stuff coming up. Kathy and I have uh, uh, some things that we're doing today that we're going to be vlogging. We're driving the, uh, the 2019 Corvette uh, C7. Pretty beautiful car, yellow. And um, uh, you'll see some of the stuff on the vlog. But tomorrow, Art Talk again. So have a spectacular day. Stay focused, stay present, and we'll talk to you soon.